We continue our reading in the book of Mark today with chapter 9. This chapter begins with the transfiguration, which is a moment where Jesus' glory, Jesus' divinity, gets revealed to the three disciples, Peter, James, and John. And after this point, Peter, James, and John, and Jesus, they regroup with the other disciples, and they see that these other disciples were having some difficulty. In particular, they were trying to cast out a demon from this boy, but they weren't able to do it. And as a result, the whole town is gathering around, a commotion is brewing, and you could feel the anxiety of these other disciples, but more so you could feel the anguish of the father who just wants to see his son helped. And these people who claim to follow Jesus said that they were able to help, but they weren't. And so Jesus steps in directly and he speaks to this father and he opens a conversation with him and he says, tell me about what's been going on. How long has this been happening? And the father begins to pour out his heart. He tells the story and he says that this thing, this demon, this spiritual force that's outside of my son has been living inside of my son, controlling him. And it throws him into a fire. It throws him into water. It seems like it's trying to kill him. So Jesus, if you can do anything, please have mercy on us, help us. So Jesus hearing these words, he says, if I can, anything is possible for the one who believes. And then the father says, I do believe, help me in my unbelief. And that line, help me in my unbelief, help me overcome my unbelief, that is one of the most honest statements about what a life of faith looks like that I've seen in the whole of the Bible. It's one of the statements that gives me strength in my life of faith. Because here's what this means. This guy, this father, is able to say to Jesus, on the one hand, I, I do believe you. I do believe in you. I believe in God. I think that God is good. But in what I'm seeing and the data that I'm gathering about the pain that my son is going through, it's hard for me to believe. I have unbelief. And I can have faith on one hand and a lack of faith on the other hand. I can have belief and unbelief at the same time. And while that feels paradoxical to perhaps someone unfamiliar with faith, to all of us who have tried to follow Jesus, we know exactly what that feels like. And Jesus, in hearing these words, he doesn't rebuke this father for his lack of faith. And we see throughout the Bible, Jesus is fine rebuking people for a lack of faith. For this father who actually acknowledges that that's what he's dealing with, oh, this is when Jesus more fully engages the father. This is when Jesus heals and delivers his son. This is when, this is the turning point in the story. And I think what happens, and it's beautiful, is that Jesus not only heals and delivers the son of that demonic possession, that outside force that was controlling him, Jesus also heals and delivers this father from the controlling force of the guilt and the weight and the shame of his unbelief. And by helping this father to just name the thing that has been gnawing away at him, Jesus is able to help free him. And for all of us who have been struggling with faith and a lack of faith, with believing in God, but yet some corner of our mind, heart, or soul struggling to believe, this passage tells us that that's okay, that it's okay to tell God that there's things that we have a hard time trusting him with, or that there's a hard, we're having a hard time fully believing in what God is saying. And that's not to say that God thinks it's fine or wants us to continue in a life of unbelief, but what it's saying is that if that's where we are, then we can just acknowledge it and we can invite Jesus into that uncertainty and we can ask him to deliver us out of that uncertainty and to move us more forward into a life of believing in Jesus in a new and a profound way. And if we're wondering, what does that look like? Well, at the end of this story, these other disciples say to Jesus, why, why couldn't we cast out this demon? And he tells them, well, some of these things, they only come out by prayer. And I think that this is what Jesus tells us to do when we're dealing with our unbelief or struggles with things that we can't know how to face or deal with. 
He just tells us to pray. And it's not this magical formula, it's a conversation. Jesus says, if you're struggling with something, just talk to me about it. Just open up a conversation with me about it. Let's start naming the things that have been bothering you, controlling you, weighing you down, and invite me in to help you move through and out of that. And so wherever you are right now in your faith or in your unbelief, we could just be one simple prayer away from inviting Jesus in and being freed and delivered from these things.